Hey guys, what's up, Grimish and Sam back with another video, and today we have another 2K24 video. Now, there has been some confusion on kind of how to get things loaded into certain areas, mainly in the My NBA, My NBA Eras section. So first and foremost, you will want to download the roster. Now, you don't have to. You can definitely skip this step if you do not need it. Um, for 2K24, this is both cross-platform with, I, at least as far as I know, uh, Xbox and PlayStation. I am on the newer gen systems the ps5 and xbox series x slash s so if you do not have one of those i don't think it's cross-platform between nintendo and pc at this current stage it did it did get brought to cross-platform with pc i think in 2k25 but overall you guys will want to head over to the features tab and go ahead and head to create roster you do have to be online for this you do have to have an online connection as well as be connected to the 2k servers you guys will want to go to user created rosters and you guys will want to push triangle or whatever your top button on the right hand side of your basically d-pad is to enter the search menu you guys are going to want to search by green uh by online id the name is green machine sam now i don't know because i don't have an xbox uh because i play all my xbox games through my pc but i don't know if you can search by online id and if it'll bring it up but if it does then it's just green machine sam if it has you know any other different tags for xbox uh just type in green machine sam if it doesn't work you will just have to download you will just have to search for one of my rosters which some of them are kind of unique but some of them aren't uh you have nba 2k25 nba 2k24 roster update the spacing in between each word of course and 2k25 roster on 2k24 you can search for any of those three those one of the three that you want and of course you will want to of course click on one of them so you will download it it'll tell you retrieving content it's basically downloading roster and then as you can see we do have up-to-date rosters now i'm not gonna go over the roster because of the fact that i just recently did a 2k roster update showing off the entire roster so just gonna scroll through it real fast so you guys can see that it is up to date uh november birthdays have been updated all that fun stuff if you guys want to check out that video i'll link it down below like i said not gonna go over the whole roster this doesn't make sense you can definitely save the roster like i said you don't have to do this step you can save the roster you can use whatever name you want you'll just have to click new file or if you want to overwrite one that you've already downloaded from me you can definitely do that as well but you will want to save the roster if you've already downloaded it of course if you're in this screen and if you are downloading it i don't see why you wouldn't it would just take an extra step away from actually loading into my eras no i don't have a share scenario live i just it i kind of fell behind on it and then it just got to to be too much if you guys really, really want something, then maybe I could get something done. But as of right now, I just don't think that's going to be the case right now. So once you head back to the main menu after you, you know, download the roster and saved it and all that fun stuff. Of course, like I said, you don't have to download the roster because if you don't download the roster, that's perfectly fine. You can just hop into the My Eras and you can actually get it from there. It's just it will require an extra step. So you'll want to head into my NBA eras and then you'll hit my NBA. And of course you do have to start a new one. I don't know why you would think that you don't have to start a new one and you have to click modern era, the modern era. Okay. This is a modern era roster. This is not a Kobe era. This is not a LeBron era, Jordan, a magic first bird. This is a modern era roster. So you will have to click on it and you will have to hop in. Now, of course, there's tons of stuff you can do. You can definitely change it to older rules. You can definitely change teams out and all that fun stuff. But the main thing you are going to want to do is you're going to want to push triangle when you get to this screen on the setup option. It'll give you a list of things to be able to go through and get done. So if you want to do a fantasy draft, if you want to do custom rules, customized league, salary cap, simple settings, advanced settings, whatever. You can definitely click whichever ones you want. So let's say you just decide to get all these out of the way and then you back out. You can trade, you can do, you know, advanced CBA rules uh, and then other things as well nothing too crazy i don't think you'll be able to play ranked and i don't and you will not be able to start from all season or stay because you are using a custom roster so that there is that and then once you have the options selected that you want you're going to want to advance now this is where the extra step kind of comes in if you have the roster you can just go into user created and then scroll all the way over to my files and if you saved it correctly it should show up as a local file if you saved and shared it you can also you'll also see it down here so whatever roster you have that's the one you're going to want to grab if you've already downloaded it right so like i can just grab the 2k25 roster on 2k24 now 
If you don't download the roster and you just decide straight to hop into my airs, you'll bring it brought to this screen. If you still need the roster, you'll want to push triangle on your controller controller or whatever your top button is on your right hand side. Uh, I don't have my Xbox controller in front of me. I think it's tucked away right now. And then you guys can search my online ID. You guys can bring up all my rosters right away. So just screen machine Sam once again. Uh, no special characters, no capitalization needed, no numbers, spacing, or anything really, anything else. It is Green Machine Sam, all one word, hit done on your controller, and it should bring up my rosters. And of course, you will want to download one of the top three. One of the top three, those are the ones that have the most up-to-date uh, rosters currently. Those have the latest 2 to 25 overalls and all that fun stuff. You guys will want to grab one of them. So we'll just grab one from here just real quick just to show you guys. So we'll grab NBA 2K24 roster update. This is the customized league. You can change teams out. You can add new teams. You can you can do a whole ton of stuff. We're just going to leave it as is though. And you can change a lot of other stuff in your setup screens as well. Um, I'm not going to go through everything. You should know what you want. And then you will pick your team. We'll just go ahead and click the Lakers. And boom, it will load up your My Eras. Now, of course, you can also, you know, bring in a draft class. Even though, you know, a draft, even though the most recent draft has happened, you can definitely go with the next year's draft because there are a lot created by Jack Move Nine One Six. He always does a fantastic job. I personally enjoy his uh, draft class the most. I think a lot of people do. Why well, he's at the top of the uh, leaderboards and turn and turns downloads, right? And then, of course, you want to go in. And boom, the roster is updated and you are in the, into the next season, basically. Now, of course, with it not being a my share scenario, it doesn't load in the last year stats. So you won't have uh, the 2023 to 2024 season stats. Of course, that is the only downside. Like I said, if there's a much, if, if there's enough of an outcry or a want for a share scenario, I'll definitely try to get one done. It will take a little bit of time because it's a full overhaul. It's restarting from basically the final roster update that 2k put out on this game because i can't import a roster right i can't just import the roster i actually have to go through and get things done but like you can see like i said it is an up-to-date roster you can go through each and every single team look at overalls look at ages look at all that fun stuff and they are progressed properly and in the spot that they should be so this won't actually fuck with anything it will give you the exact ages, the exact experience, overalls, contracts, all that fun stuff that you would normally get. It's just the up-to-date rosters being loaded into the 2023-2024 season. So you will so you will miss a season of just, you know, stats and stuff, but it's still a good common it's still a good thing to play with if you're just looking to have a decent my eras. You don't need to if you don't want to upgrade to 2k25 if you're going to update upgrade to 2k25 i'd suggest doing it sooner rather than later of course since it is on sale i ended up picking it up because it doesn't seem like it's going to get on much more of a sale than what it currently is so i ended up picking it up and we and uh rosters will slowly start getting pushed out on that especially if they it, especially if they need it uh, i'll probably start work on some of the custom rosters and teams that i normally end up adding to uh my my roster uh but for now, that is it. Hopefully that does explain a lot of it. I realized I didn't have a video for 2K24. I only had a video for 2K23. And I know 2K23's system was a little fun funky at times. Uh, sometimes you had to share the roster. Sometimes you didn't. It, uh, sometimes it had to be online. Sometimes whatever. It was very difficult and weird on 2K23. It's been a lot more streamlined. A lot more easy to access on 2K24. Hopefully this answers a lot of your guys' questions. Hopefully this helps you as best as possible. With that being said, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video or any other videos here on my channel, if you guys want to go check out the full roster breakdown, uh, just showing off a lot more in-depth pieces of the roster, going over what I changed, what I fixed, what I got done on the last roster update, the November roster update, go ahead and check that video out. But with that being said, guys, I do appreciate the support, and I'll be back with more videos like this. But with that being said, I'm out. Peace.